Uh, one of the things that I noticed when she was coaching, and I know it transpired into her teaching, is her remarkable way of, of uh, motivating young people. As she pulled every trick out of the book. But I think she developed a culture in that room where kids loved her and they did not want to disappoint her. And I really think that's the key to good classroom discipline. You know, she always said, I went into teaching to make a difference in kids' lives. But she made a difference in everybody's life that she met. I mean, co-workers' lives, um, the parents' lives, people at the ball field that she would encounter. She just made a difference. And it was the little things. She knew what was going on in your life. She would check on you. She just kind of had a quiet way about doing that just to know that you cared. You knew that she cared and that she loved you. She had a good uh, way of capturing those, uh, the attention of, of people who maybe weren't in the in crowd. And that's what I admired about her. Kids thrived in her class. They, they wanted to be there. They wanted to please her. She um, pro has provided the wind beneath many people's wings. She, uh, she had, I think that she had quite a lot of tools in her tool belt to, vote, to motivate children of all ages, uh, even from the classroom to that team of boys that, that she took on. She had something that she gave those kids that really um, made them feel like they're a team mm -hmm. and they can do anything. And um, she was just a great teacher. She was strict, but then she knew how to have fun and um, they just loved her. They loved her. They, she didn't have, you know, a lot of elementary classrooms, they pull their card or change their color. She didn't have to do that. Um, and that's, that's amazing. I never had a discipline problem come out of that class. I never had a parent issue come out of that class. She never complained about anything. She just performed and her kids performed and it was wonderful. But at the same time, I also watched her uh, balance life as, uh, as a single parent, as a mother, as a teacher, as a mentor to young children, as a baseball coach, as a baseball commissioner, and raising a wonderful family. She, um, she had it difficult in that um, she, she would haul rock. She hauled native stone with her, young, with her kids to help put them through school and to help put herself through school. Um, I loved coming in early. You know, she doesn't sleep, first of all. She would come in at the crack of dawn. Um, she'd beat the roosters. Monica was, a, was an early bird. I, I knew that. I just didn't know how early. I went down and talked to her. I said, Monica, what, I, your car is always here. What time do you get to school? She said, five o'clock. But I would, I would come early just so I could talk to her in the mornings and learn from her. So Monica was, you know, more than just a coach. She was a real role model in my life and someone that I really hold dear. And for her to get this accomplishment from, this, from the town of Rogers, um, I think is a remarkable thing. Hey, what's up, Monica? This is Tim Tebow. This is my good buddy, Marcus Spears, AKA the Big Swagoo. We honestly, we just wanted to take this time to film this video and say congratulations for everything that you have done over the last 30 years, for the inspiration that you have been to our good friend, Brett Austin, and so many others. Uh, making a difference in the next generation is one of the best things that you can ever do. And so we're just thankful from the bottom of our heart that there are people like you making a difference and setting such a good example for people to follow. Absolutely, one of the pil pillars in the community and we congratulate you. We salute you, and we know that you have a plethora of people out here that represent you and what you put into their lives. In 1983, when she guided our all-star team to the state playoffs, first woman to ever do that. Um, remarkable. Uh, at the time, a lot of people were making a lot of noise and, and talking a lot about a woman coach leading a group of boys to the state playoffs in baseball. To us, it didn't really matter that much. She was just our coach. I mean, that was the main thing. So it, it's kind of funny when you look back on it now and, and people, you know, and she deserves every accolade she gets. But again, to us kids, she was just a, a good ball coach. Um, she taught the fundamentals, but she taught the fundamentals of life, not just baseball. She taught about hard work, you know, um, playing as a team, uh, respecting your opponent, being fair, and always having a good attitude in everything you do. And so, and those are some of the values that I hold dear all my entire career and what I do now and for my own family. We had um, uh, uh, a poem that 
we would say before every game. And uh, if you think you're beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win but think you can't, it's almost a sense you won't. If you think you'll lose, you're lost. For out in the world we find success begins with the fellow's will. It's all in the state of mind. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger, faster man, but sooner or later the one who wins is the one who thinks he can. She had them say that before every game. Fundamentals over repetition, repetition, repetition. Get it right. Do the right thing. Make good decisions. Um, that was something she instilled in me. That was something she instilled in a generation of kids in Rogers. Um, and her motto in her classroom was, the reward for poor work is more work. And I still use that. I've stolen that motto and I use it in my classroom today. So the kids will say, the reward for poor work is more work. And, and they know that it came from Miss Bray. She loved the unlovable. She challenged the, the hardest child. And um, so I really know more about her teaching than her, than her coaching. But the stories that I've heard I think that you would be quite surprised if that's the only Monica that you know, the quiet and, uh, and sweet Monica, because she can, she can get things going and, and light a fire under all of us, I can tell you that. Ladies and gentlemen, our 2016 Wall of Distinction honoree, Monica Bray.